For months, thousands of Iraqi soldiers and Peshmerga fighters have practiced fighting the enemy over and over again under the guidance of U.S., Italian, and other coalition troops. Now it's time to see if the Iraqis and the Peshmerga have learned enough to drive ISIL fighters from Mosul. This may prove to be a long and tough battle, but the Iraqis have prepared for it, and we will stand by them. The Obama administration says the U.S. military is supporting the campaign, not leading it. But the 5,200 troops now in Iraq are very much engaged. They're still bombing ISIL targets in and around Mosul, so Iraqi forces can avoid roadside bombs and snipers. And the U.S. is giving the Iraqis and Peshmerga intelligence, logistic support, and yes, helicopter cover as needed. The Pentagon insists there is a limit on how much its forces will do. With Americans um, in a support role, most of the American forces in Iraq uh, are not uh, anywhere close to the front line. Uh, that's the way this has been structured. Many of them are in logistical support roles. Many of them are uh, carrying out training uh, missions, for example, that are uh, well away from Mosul. They've been doing so previously. Um, and they'll continue to be in that advisory role. The fight against ISIL has dominated much of President Barack Obama's foreign policy agenda for the last two years. His aides deny suggestions the Mosul campaign was timed to benefit the Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. That was a decision that was made by Prime Minister Abadi. We've been clear from the beginning that the Iraqi central government is the, uh, is the one that's calling the shots. And they should. It's their country. They're a sovereign nation. And the support that they're receiving from the United States and our coalition partners is at their request. And obviously the United States has a very strong relationship uh, with uh, the Iraqi central government. One thing U.S. officials say is true. The fight for Mosul will not be quick, and victory will require considerable sacrifice. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.